Ever wondered which reigns supreme in the forest, the giant brown bear or the acrobatic black bear? These two furry titans may look similar, but they're built for entirely different lifestyles. Today on our channel, we're diving into the fascinating world of brown bears and black bears. We'll uncover the key differences in size, diet, and even their favorite hangout spots. So grab a snack, settle in, and get ready to learn how to tell these incredible bears apart. Number 1. Species Classification Grizzly bears and black bears are both impressive members of the bear family, Ursidae, but their taxonomic classification within the family differs. Grizzly bears are not a separate species. Grizzlies are actually classified as a subspecies of the brown bear Ursus arctos. DNA analysis revealed a close relationship between grizzlies and other brown bear populations around the world. Within North America, there are to recognize subspecies of brown bear, Kodiak bear Ursus arctos medendorfi, found on the Kodiak archipelago, grizzly bear Ursus arctos horribilis, found throughout mainland North America. On the other hand, black bears are a distinct species, Ursus americanus. Sixteen subspecies of black bears are recognized, based on minor variations in for color, size, and geographic range. Some examples include the Kermode spirit bear and the cinnamon bear. The distinction between grizzlies and brown bears can be confusing. In North America, grizzly bear is the common term for inland brown bears, while brown bear often refers to the larger coastal populations. However, they are all classified under the same species, Ursus arctos. Number 2. Size Comparison Grizzly bears these hulking bruisers are significantly larger. An adult male grizzly can weigh between 400 to 1,000 pounds, with some reaching up to 1,500 pounds. Standing on their hind legs, they can tower over you at 7 feet tall. While black bears are still sizable, black bears are much lighter. Adult males typically weigh between 150 to 600 pounds and stand around 6 feet tall on their hind legs. Size isn't everything though. There can be some overlap in size, especially between female grizzlies and large male black bears. Both species can have a range of fur colors. Black bears can be black, brown, or even cinnamon colored, while grizzlies can range from blonde to black. Grizzlies have much longer, more curved claws than black bears, which have shorter, straighter claws. Grizzlies have a dished in face with a muscular hump between their shoulders, while black bears have a straighter face and no hump. If you encounter a bear in the wild, it's more important to know how to behave safely than to identify the exact species. Always follow recommended practices for bear country, such as making noise while hiking and carrying bear spray. Number 3. Coat Color Despite their names, coat color isn't a reliable way to tell these bears apart. Grizzlies can be blonde, light brown, dark brown, reddish, or even almost black. They're named for their guard hairs with white tips, giving a grizzled look, especially on the back and shoulders. On the other hand, black bears can be black, yes, but also blue-black, brown, cinnamon, and even rare white spirit bear variations. Both grizzlies and black bears come in a surprising range of colors, so fur color alone isn't a safe way to identify them. Number 4. Habitat Grizzly bears are more adaptable than you might think. Grizzlies can be found in mountains, forests, grasslands, and even tundras. Their historical range was vast, stretching across much of North America. Today, they're primarily in Western Canada and the Northwestern United States. Home range size varies depending on food availability and other factors, but males can roam huge areas up to 2,500 square kilometers. Black bears are real estate opportunists. They're happy in a wider variety of habitats than grizzlies, including forests, mountains, swamps, and even backyards. Their range is much broader than grizzlies, encompassing most of Canada, the United States, and even parts of Mexico. Home ranges are smaller than grizzlies, with males averaging around 500 square kilometers and females even less. In a nutshell, 
Grizzly bears has wider range of habitats, but smaller overall population and range. And black bears are more flexible with habitat choice, with a larger and more widespread population. Number 5. Diet. Grizzly bears are more carnivorous. They tend to eat more meat than black bears. Although plants still make up a large portion of their diet around 80 to 90 percent in some areas. They focus on hunting larger mammals like elk, bison, and deer during spring and fall, when these animals are weaker. They will also scavenge on carrion dead animals, whenever possible to conserve energy. Their powerful claws help them dig fall roots and tubers, and they also consume berries, nuts, and grasses. Black bears are more omnivorous. They have a more even split between plants and animals in their diet. They rely heavily on berries, especially during the summer months when these fruits are abundant. They also consume a lot of insects, nuts, and small mammals like rodents and rabbits. They are less likely to hunt large prey than grizzlies, but they will scavenge or take down smaller animals if the opportunity arises. Number 6. Behavior. Here's a comparison of grizzly bear and black bear behavior. If we talk about diet, both are omnivores, but grizzlies lean more towards meat. They actively hunt and scavenge for larger prey. Black bears are more opportunistic eaters, relying heavily on fruits, nuts, and insects, while also consuming meat when available. Grizzlies prefer open areas like meadows and mountains. Their size makes navigating forests less ideal. Black bears are excellent climbers and thrive in forested areas with dense vegetation for cover. Grizzlies are more likely to stand their ground and defend themselves or their food sources. So as with cubs are especially protective, black bears tend to be more timid and will usually retreat when threatened. Climbing trees is a common escape tactic for them. Grizzlies tend to avoid humans, but can be aggressive if surprised or feel threatened. Black bears are more likely to be attracted to human settlements due to easily accessible food sources, which can increase the risk of conflict. Number 7. Population. There are currently about 60,000 wild grizzly bears located throughout North America, 30,000 of which are found in Alaska. Only around 1,500 grizzlies remain in the lower 48 United States. Of these, around 800 are found in Montana, and up to 29,000 live in Canada. The International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources lists the black bear as a species of least concern. The species is widespread across North America, and population studies estimate that some 850,000 to 900,000 black bears currently live in North America. Number 8. Reproduction. Age of sexual maturity of black bear females at 3.5 years, males at 3 to 4 years, while grizzly bear females at 4.5 years, males at 4 to 5 years. The breeding frequency for black bear can breed every year or every other year, and grizzly bear breeds every three to four years. Litter size of both typically to cubs, but can range from one to four, and parental care for both mothers are very protective and raise their young for 1.5 to three years. Number nine, territorial range. Grizzly bears are highly territorial, males especially, have large home ranges that up to 2,500 square kilometers, they fiercely defend from other males. These ranges can vary depending on food abundance, but typically sprawl across hundreds of square kilometers. Females have smaller territories, but they can still overlap with those of males and other females. Black bears are not strictly territorial. They are solitary animals, and their home ranges up to 200 square kilometers, often overlap considerably. Food availability plays a major role in range size. In areas with scarce food, black bears may have larger ranges to find sustenance. Conversely, abundant food sources can lead to smaller, more concentrated home ranges. Number 10. Hibernation. Both brown bears and black bears enter a winter sleep state, but it's not quite hibernation. They experience a physiological marvel called torpor. Depth of sleep of brown bears enter a deeper torpor. Their body temperature drops significantly, heart rate slows, and they don't eat, drink, 
or eliminate waste for months. Black bear torpor is shallower, their body temperature dips less, and they may occasionally wake up to nibble on stored food or eliminate waste. Duration of brown bear snooze for longer stretches, typically 5 to 8 months, depending on location and fat reserves. While black bear snoozes are shorter, lasting 4 to 7 months, with some variations based on climate and individual bears. Location of brown bears den in caves, or dig underground dens. And black bears find cozy spots above ground in hollow trees, under logs, or rock crevices. Number 11. Human Interaction Brown bears are much more territorial and protective of their food sources and young. Encounters can be dangerous, and human presence is often seen as a threat. If you encounter a brown bear, it's best to play dead. This submissive pasture might deter an attack. Black bears are more likely to avoid confrontation with humans. They're often seen as opportunistic feeders, attracted to things like food scraps or unsecured garbage. If a black bear feels cornered or threatened, they may stand on their hind legs or make noise to appear larger. In such cases, standing your ground and appearing assertive can scare them away. Number 12. Conservation Status Globally, brown bears are considered of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature due to their large total population. While some subspecies, like the grizzly bear in the lower 48 states of the United States, have federal protection due to lower numbers. Black bears are also listed as least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature thanks to their widespread populations. They're much more adaptable than brown bears and have thrived in some areas alongside human development. Number 13. Cultural Significance Brown bears, especially grizzlies, represent immense strength and ferocity. They are often seen as protectors or guardians in Native American cultures. Their long hibernation is viewed as a time of deep reflection, leading to associations with wisdom and spiritual transformation. Black bears, with their more adaptable nature and omnivorous diet, are seen as curious and playful tricksters in some cultures. Their ability to thrive in diverse habitats makes them symbols of resilience and resourcefulness. Number 14. Ecological Role Brown bears and black bears play similar ecological roles as seed dispersers and ecosystem engineers. Both bears love fruits and berries. They eat the fruit, but don't digest the seeds. These seeds are then spread through their scat, helping plants grow in new areas. By turning over logs, digging for prey, and leaving carrion behind, they create opportunities for other animals and enrich the soil. However, their dietary differences influence their impact. Brown bears are more carnivorous, feasting on salmon and impacting prey populations. And black bears are more omnivorous, eating more plants and helping disperse a wider variety of seeds. So, there you have it, brown bears, the hulking hunters, and black bears, the nimble opportunists. Both these bears are fascinating creatures that play a vital role in their ecosystems. Let us know in the comments below which bear you find more interesting and if you've ever had a close encounter with one in the wild. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more wild animal showdowns.